This is the time I met my soulmate. It's a true story. So, I moved to Fayetteville, Georgia in the second semester of my junior year of high school from a place called Waianae Valley in Honolulu, Hawaii. I was the new kid, and at that point in the year, no one was really trying to make new friends. But I met a few guys in my physics class who were really cool. We can call them Mickey, Rovani, Gret, and Betty. In order to help me make some new friends, Mickey threw me a party. I met all kinds of people and was able to connect names with the faces I always saw in the hallway. In a popular party game, I partnered up with this girl. We can call her Kaylee. After the party, I kept in touch with Kaylee and I found myself making more than just a friend. Turned out, we were like the same person. We had the same hobbies, same lifetime goals. It was one of those things where you say, is it possible I just found my soulmate? It's that same feeling Catherine and Heathcliff have for one another in Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. After Heathcliff is taken into the Earnshaws, he develops a relationship with Catherine Earnshaw, and the two fall in love and see each other as soulmates. Anyways, I thought this Kaylee girl was just the best, so I dated her. Unlike Catherine and Heathcliff, I had the opportunity to date my soulmate without social backlash. As great as she was, I learned the crazy truth about Kaylee. I quickly came to my senses. Turned out this chick was crazy. Not good crazy, or like a normal crazy. She's like crazy as in she broke into her last soulmate's basement and wrote on the walls crazy. I'm talking about don't date this girl because you'll never see the last of her kind of crazy. So after my junior prom, senior year for her, I dumped her. Probably one of the worst ways to handle the situation. Little did I know that after that, I would never see the last of her. In Wuthering Heights, Heathcliff's soulmate dies and he says, Catherine Earnshaw, may you not rest as long as I am living. You said I killed you, haunt me then. Well. This is basically what I wished upon myself when I broke up with this mentally unstable ball of hate. After I broke up with her, the next summer, as well as my senior year, were pretty rough for me. But I don't mean awful and rough, as in like reading the back of a shampoo bottle in the bathroom because you forgot to take your phone or a magazine to read. I mean awful as in you brushed your teeth and then just drank some orange juice, but you're standing on a cactus and you're on fire. Heathcliff is haunted by Catherine's ghost until he refuses to eat or seek medical attention and eventually dies. Kaylee haunted me as well. In a way, some of it was similar to the way Catherine haunted Heathcliff because she came to Heathcliff's house, kind of like how Kaylee would come to my house at like two in the morning. In fact, she tried to break in once. The same way Catherine's ghost passed through Heathcliff's window. We have a security system and cameras in our house now. Like I said, it continued through the year and the first day of school, I woke up to a surprise. My car's windshield wipers had been ripped out. The tires were slashed, the sides and the back of my car were keyed and the hubcaps were missing. It was $1,400 of damage. One time I was running in the Peachtree City golf cart trails it turns out she followed me there because I heard something coming behind me. She was trying to run me over with a golf cart. This is a true story. After the haunting, I wasn't driven to my death like Heathcliff. I just let her college know that she was coming to my house and vandalizing my car, which they weren't happy to hear. Long story short, I have her blocked on my phone, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, even Facebook. If she ever comes to Fayetteville to visit her friends, I hide in my house like there's a zombie apocalypse outside. Like young Catherine's eyes, Hareton's body, and Catherine's ghost remind Heathcliff of soul, his soulmate. The buffered scratches on my car and the alarm system in my house remind me of my not so soulmate. The big difference between Heathcliff and me is that you won't be hearing from a shepherd boy that my ghost was walking with Kaylee, as he saw a ghost of Heathcliff and Catherine walking together. What I'm saying is, Kaylee isn't a problem anymore. And I found my new soulmate that hopefully isn't secretly crazy. <laughs>